Well, the 11 News I team has more to report tonight on a Glen Burnie tax preparer. A group of Baltimore City firefighters accuses him of filing bogus returns that got them in a lot of hot water, some now owing the government thousands of dollars. After our story aired, the phone started ringing, and the calls were from other customers who say the same thing happened to them. Here's the 11 News I team reporter, Barry Sims. I think it's terrible. Philip and Jay Brooks are trying to handle an overwhelming tax issue. Over the past three years, they received tax refunds totaling more than $20,000. But then the state of Maryland audited them and demanded they give back more than $12,000. Philip says the impact is, is devastating. I'm just trying to resolve it and get it situated. Um, this is just it's a problem. The Brooks has contacted the I team after seeing our story about tax preparer L.A. Bowie and his Glen Burnie company, L.A.'s Tax Services. So far, a dozen of Bowie's customers have contacted us. Most have undergone audits. Clients we talked to claim Bowie ignored the request to review the returns before they were electronically filed, and all say that they later found out Bowie had put down things that were not true, like bogus businesses and expenses. And they all claim the returns were submitted with the words self prepared, indicating they had done the work themselves and not L.A. Bowie. How could somebody, you know, do this to me? Katrina Roberts got a $7,600 refund. She got audited too. She took her concerns to the IRS, where she learned her return listed a business and other income investments that she claims are bogus. Now she owes the IRS $4,500. It was just. Shocking it. It was it hurt my feelings because you know I'm a single parent trying to make it. Roberts also says the IRS showed her where $897 of her refund had gone into a bank account that isn't hers. She doesn't know whose it is. She suspects LA Bowie took a percentage of her refund. Other clients say Bowie told them that's how he would get paid. In February, we tried to speak with Bowie. Mr. Bowie. Hi, I'm Barry Sands with Channel 11. I was trying to talk to you about some tax preparation that's been done. Uh, turn the camera off. Can we talk to you, sir? Turn the camera off. At that time, he denied doing anything wrong. And when we asked why his client's returns say self prepared, he referred us to his attorney, who did not return our calls. After hearing from other clients, we returned to Bowie's office. On a weekday, in the middle of tax season, the door was locked and the lights were out. We also went to Bowie's home in Severn. No one came to the door. The I-team discovered Bowie is not a registered tax preparer, which is required by Maryland law. The state controller's office tells us they are actively investigating the alleged tax preparation practices. It's, it's, it's just not right. So it's, it's a bad failure. It's a bad failure. You know, nobody wants to owe nobody. You know, so it's, it's tough. Ultimately, citizens like Philip and Jay Brooks are responsible for their taxes, and right now they are paying the price for whatever Bowie allegedly claimed on their returns. For the 11 News I team, I'm Barry Sims. Now, 11 News has since spoken with the attorney Bowie referred us to, but he says he does not represent Bowie in tax matters. The I team also contacted the IRS. It will not say if it is investigating. And you can see this I team, uh, the I team's previous story on this on our website, WBALTV.com. Be sure to click on I team. You'll also find information on how to find a registered tax preparer or file a complaint.